The future is almost upon us. Today I want to talk about the five ways of how you can make money inside of the metaverse. So metaverse jobs versus real jobs. Now who's to say that the metaverse jobs aren't real jobs? Well they are. They require real skill, real effort and they pay real money. So they are real jobs, right? Anyway, my name is The Inspector. You're about to be mind blown. And let's get this show on the road. For this video, I have a voice of reason. I brought a friend over for a collaboration. What are you talking about? So for those of you who don't even know what the metaverse is, she will ask all the important questions. So I, I just don't understand anything. And so I don't really lose myself inside of the tech talk. And also so you guys have someone to simp over. <laughs> After the video is done, check out Veronica in the description down below. And the first talking point is play to earn. So playing games and earning money. Wait, I have a quick question. So you can actually make money from playing games? Well, yes. Yes, you can. It's called play to earn and it's a real thing. A lot of people all over the world are already making a great income just from playing video games. Now, those games are just play to earn games, while inside of the metaverse it's going to be a little bit different. Why would anyone pay you to play a game? And <laughs> so you don't get paid by someone in particular to play the game. You earn a fee from playing the game inside of the metaverse. Let me elaborate. There's landowners, there's people who create mini games, and then there's people who play to earn. There's a whole economy made on the blockchain inside of this metaverse. The economy kind of drives itself. The person who owns the land picks a mini game. He puts the mini game onto his land, and then comes the third party, which is the play to earn person or the player that wants to earn by not investing, he gets a little fee if he wins the minigame, the person who has made the minigame gets a fee from the person playing, and the person who owns the land where all this is going down also gets paid. Now, I will talk more about the other two things, the minigames and the land throughout the video. Right now, we're focusing on the play to earn part, which will be exactly done like all the other play to earn games that you guys know and love. Now, the guys that made the metaverse don't earn money from any of this. What's their benefit in all this? That's the main question people have. Well, their coin goes up in value. They don't need anything else. And also, they do get fees here and there. For example, if you buy the land, you buy it from them. Just a second. Why would anyone buy virtual land? Well, that's a great question and it brings me to talking point number two, which is virtual land. Now, there's four different ways how you can actually earn money from your virtual land. That doesn't make sense at all. I understand that it doesn't make sense right now, but let me try and kind of explain this a little further with very simple words. But first, I want to tell you about the four different ways I've been thinking about making money from virtual land. So renting land, flipping land, you can be a land broker or a land manager. Yes, I understand, kind of. But who buys this virtual land? Well, anyone who wants to do any of these four things, or there's actually many more things you can do. These are just the four things that I wanted to talk about in today's video. But let me give you a very good example here. A few days ago, I covered a casino project inside of the metaverse called the San Vegas Casino Club. And you can check them out in the description down below. But basically, they're a metaverse casino that runs on NFTs. So there's going to be around 10,000 of their NFTs that people will be able to mint. And all the income generated inside of the casino gets distributed to the the NFT owners while in turn they use the money generated from the sale of the NFTs to kind of power and run the casino. Now one of the things you'll be able to do with your land is place an ad of their casino on your land and you'll be able to get a fee just from putting up the ad. So think of it basically like owning real estate, putting up a giant billboard inside of your backyard and you'll be obviously paid for advertising whatever is on the billboard. So this is basically the same thing. So that's one of the reasons why someone would want to buy land. And another cool thing you can do is just put up a portal, since this is a game, you can put up a portal inside of your land where people can just walk through and they go straight from your land into the casino. And yeah, all this is very, very, very crazy. Ludicrous, if I dare say. So renting land, what is renting land? So let me give you an example here of something that already happened. Snoop Dogg has a mansion inside of the Sandbox Metaverse. Yes, Snoop Dogg the rapper. He is basically renting his land from time to time to people who then throw parties on his land. Mind blown, man. So that's 
one of the ways you can make passive income from your land, but you can also flip land. So just like flipping real land, you buy it when the value is low, you wait for the value to go up, and you sell it for a higher price. That's land flipping. Now, why does it go up in price? Well, there it can be a number of reasons. Another example with our good friend Snoop Dogg the Rapper. There's a person who has bought land next to his and he outbid everyone else buying the land for $650,000 just to be Snoop Dogg's neighbor. So obviously you can't really know if some famous rapper is going to buy land next to yours so your land can appreciate in value but if you buy land in a nice district in an urban center of the metaverse you know it's going to go up in value as more things get built on top of all the lands around you now you can also be a land broker connecting two people so the buyer and the seller and that way you as the middleman can take a cut from connecting people who want to buy land and don't know where to start to the people who want to sell land and don't know where to start or you can be a land manager which is, well, it's self-explanatory, it's a person that manages land. So there's gonna be parties, there's gonna be a bunch of stuff where land managers are going to be needed. So for example, you are a person who wants to own land, wants to earn passive income from the metaverse, but doesn't necessarily want to play the games, doesn't necessarily want to go into the metaverse, you just want to invest, right? Basically, you would need a person that would be called a land manager who will put up different, different ads from all the things going on inside of the metaverse, like the casinos that I talked about, like the San Vegas Casino Club, or or any number of casinos or any business being built inside of the metaverse really really the creativity of the human mind here is the only ceiling and a human's creativity is endless so it's going to get way more crazy crazier than all the things I'm talking about right now these are just the things inside of my head and there's way more creative people than me out there third talking boy you can be a virtual architect so you can design various houses for other people inside of the metaverse inside of the games basically ah okay this one i understand kind of actually i don't you can design casinos you can design office buildings interior exterior really anything but what does it mean virtual architect so basically a virtual architect would be the person who designs all this inside of the metaverse he makes the interior and exterior design he puts the couches in the place where couches need to be put he puts the blackjack tables and the part of the casino where the blackjack tables need to stay that makes no sense why just not design a real house if you can do that uh, well you can but then again you would need to you know uh, finish university for being an architect and you know go to school for like what 15 years and be in debt and then not even get paid enough uh, to do the job you know how to do but <laughs> inside of the metaverse you can basically just be a designer hop on and ask someone hey you need your house design I'm good at this stuff yeah man show me what you've been doing before yeah man here you go this is what I've done already Oh, that looks super cool, man. Can you design my house for two Ethereum? Hell yeah, man. I'll do it for one and a half for you. That's how I kind of think it's going to go down. <laughs> as far as the office buildings and the design of the office buildings are concerned, why would anyone even need office buildings? Well, our buddy Bill Gates a few weeks ago talked about how all the online meetings, the Zoom calls, the Google Meets, the Hangouts will be held inside of the metaverse in two to three years. So my thinking is obviously there are going to be office buildings. People who run marketing firms, for example, people who run architecture and design firms and just people who do their business online and they want to meet with everyone else face to face, kind of. Well face to face inside of the metaverse all of them are going to need office buildings and all those office buildings are gonna need designing talking boy number four concerts preparation concert participation and really just a virtual concert a virtual concert how does that even work who sing on that concert who comes to watch that well, those are all valid questions, and basically, who's gonna come to watch? Well, <laughs> let me actually give you an example of something that already happened, which is what I like to do. A few years ago, Marshmello did a concert inside Fortnite. A lot of people came to watch, and Marshmello was paid a hefty fee for doing that concert. So, who actually watched? Well, all the people who have played the game at the time, because the concert only happened, for example, from 8 p.m. until 9 p.m., and it was over. That's... Now, as for Fortnite, since it's not a blockchain game, and <laughs> definitely not a metaverse, only Marshmello and the guys that made Fortnite benefited from this. Well, obviously the people benefited from this because the concert was awesome, I attended it myself. But inside the metaverse, the land owner will get a fee, 
the one who's singing will get a fee, the metaverse on which all of this is taking place is going to rise in price, people who are preparing the concert they're gonna need to mint NFTs as tickets and they're also gonna earn fees from doing their job, so it's really a total win 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 scenario, everybody wins. It's a mind blow for me. So here is a concert of Snoop Dogg. He actually did a concert on his own mansion and a lot of people came to watch. You needed to buy the ticket NFTs in order to enter the concert. And really someone who is preparing all this and kind of making it happen is definitely a job title that can be called online party preparation. That's a terrible job title, but <laughs> you understand what I mean. There will definitely be a need for parties inside of the metaverse. There's been a need for parties in games since forever. Fortnite has been the first one to do it, there's been a lot more parties ever since and there's gonna be a lot more parties and concerts to come in the future of the metaverse, it's going to be absolutely insane. Any up and coming artist can easily just start a concert inside of the metaverse without uh, spending a huge amounts of money on organizing uh, bands, uh, places where it's gonna take place uh, without even knowing how many people are gonna show up, while inside of the metaverse it doesn't really matter, you, you, you're you gonna win either way, there's gonna be people present just because it's super cool. Now talking about number five, minigames. What the hell are minigames? <laughs> Well, the talking point about, about minigames, a little bit different talking point, point for NFTs, but now, so, not NFTs, but minigames. Oh, I'm getting ahead of myself, I've been recording this video for a while now, my mind is barely working anymore. <laughs> anyway, you're gonna be able to develop the minigames, right? So I already talked about this in very short at the first talking point. In order for people to play to earn, they're gonna need to play minigames. Now, as a land owner who doesn't really want to mess around inside the blockchain, just wants passive income, you're gonna have a variety of minigames to choose from and the minigames are not made by the guys that made the actual metaverse, they are made by players like you and me. We can jump into the minigame creation section and we can create a game inside the game. So think of it like this, we can jump into the sandbox metaverse and we can create a whole squid game minigame where people can just jump into the land and start playing the squid game where the winner takes all after all seven sections or however many there are are through and basically the one who wins the whole Squid Game gets to keep all the money, that's just one of the things you can do. Obviously there's gonna be way simpler minigames, like for example, um, go inside a tomb and clear it out of zombies, or really anything like that. All of this is going to be played to earn, the landowners are gonna get their fee, the play to earn gamers are gonna get their fee, and the guy that made the minigame is gonna get his fee. So, the way I see it, there's gonna be like a trending section where the trending minigames are going to be displayed, so the better minigames you make, the more money you will get. Now, a bonus talking point is NFTs. NFTs in form of avatars, aka the actual players, NFTs in form of wearables, uh, glasses, gloves, uh, shoes, socks. Another question that I have is, what is NFT? That's a little bit difficult to explain right now, but <laughs> if you don't know what an NFT is, basically a non fungible token. Okay, here we go. Without doing the tech talk and explaining how NFTs actually work, NFTs are something that's one out of one. So basically your passport could be an NFT, your ID card can be an NFT, a concert ticket can be an NFT, a cinema entrance can be an NFT, and all of those need to be an NFT. Difference between a real concert ticket and an NFT concert ticket is that the NFT is virtual and it's onto, on the blockchain. So yes, someone will be able to create sunglasses as an NFT that you can wear inside of the metaverse. Why would you pay for virtual glasses if you can buy real ones? And you would buy those virtual glasses because they don't really have an expiration date, you can't drop them and break them, but what you can do is sell them for a higher price than what you bought them for, so that's kind of why you want to do that. So if you're someone who made the glasses, and let's say you sell them for a hundred dollars, right? Focus. Focus on my face. I buy those glasses off you and I wear them inside of the metaverse all the time. They become synonymous with me. I become famous inside of the metaverse because I'm great at mini games. Uh, I do all the concert preparations. I design the office buildings and I wear all the, the glasses all the time. People know them. People love them. They're one of one and they know that they're mine. And now I decide to sell them and I sell them for 2,000 bucks. Now, this is all hypothetically speaking, right? I bought them for 100. I sell them for 2,000 because they become synonymous with me. They become fame. The original artist who I bought him off is going to get a royalty of 5 or 10% from the secondary sale. So he, let's say it's 10%. So he sold them to me for 100 bucks and now he gets 200 bucks from me reselling them, which is 10% of 2,000, right? 
Now, the person who bought them of me can immediately sell them for 2500 The original seller, the original person who has created them will get will get the royalty again the 10 percent royalty getting another 250 bucks and this guy will be able to sell them for 2500 because right now these glasses have history they have been minted they've been sold the first time they've been sold the second time and now they have history and that's how most nfts rise in value right now i'm shocked i i just don't understand anything yeah i get you i'm a little bit shocked too well, hopefully you understood the metaverse a little bit more from this video. Check out Veronica in the description down below. Check out San Vegas Casino Club in the description down below. Check out my Instagram in the description down below. And as always, my name is The Inspector and I'll see you next time. Peace!